A bunch of people have been asking me what kind of horsepower I'm making with my baloney nonsense exhaust setups I've been putting on my poor Nissan Sentra, and I kind of wanted to know too. So I went ahead and went on eBay, money, bought money, some exhaust money. parts in order to make a control group exhaust. And of course, the true quad exhaust is still on there. Quad exhaust has been removed in the quickest way possible. All the uh, pipes just kinda fell. If you ever find yourself making an exhaust and you have flanges that look like this, the first thing you wanna do is immediately throw them in the trash and use V-bands instead. So we got this beautiful set of $100 eBay headers, only the finest for the Nissan. I went ahead and cut that old connector off, put a V-band on, and I usually wrap my headers. I was wondering if they have it in red. They do. Wrap is done, and I'm only very itchy, so it's a success. Good. Yes. Cook. Mmm. Smells good. I actually spent money on a project for once. Regular old two and a half inch pipe. Exhaust is going to be pretty normal. One annoying thing about flex joints is this is a three inch flex joint, but inside it turns down to like a two and a half inch. This is garbage. You want this. It's actually the size it's supposed to be on the inside. It's crazy you have to even consider that. So here's our two and a half inch exhaust. Pretty normal. Yeah. Went with the Flowmaster FX because it's what I had. So now that we have a control exhaust, I spent literal hours looking at old footage frame by frame in order to determine which exhaust setup made the most power. This blows. So here's what I came up with. So the poles were done from 20 miles per hour up to 55 miles per hour. And obviously the shifts weren't identical, but this will give us a good idea. So the normal exhaust was by far the best. 4.38, true dual H pipe 512, X pipe 515, blah, 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 blah. I expected the H pipe to do a lot better than it did, um, but it didn't for some reason. Everybody in the comments section was like, oh, the H pipe should flow better, should flow better. It didn't. Um, yeah, I don't know about that one, but the normal exhaust I knew was going to be faster because when I did the pull, it felt faster. So basically what these numbers are telling me is that if you're chasing performance, maybe a true dual exhaust on your four cylinder isn't the play. Maybe. Also, that red header wrap stayed red for like two seconds. Subscribe. Ah!